Bila shaka karibu tena katika sehemu ya pili ya taarifa hizi za mbiu ya KTN ambapo wanaharakato mazingira eneo la Malindi wamezindua mpango unaolenga kuwahusisha wana mazingira chipukizi ili kuwasaidia kufahamu kuhusu jinsi ya kuhifadhi mazingira wakiwa bado wadogo kiumri. Mpango huo unataka kuanza kwa kusafisha mji wa Malindi ili kuimarisha muonekano wake. Mpango huo unatumia miundo wa nyumba kumi ambapo jamii zinazohimizwa kuhusu umuhimu wa kudumisha mazingira safi. Mm, we learned that that saving the oceans and water bodies is very important. We are, pre we are preserving the turtles. The turtles face a lot of challenges. And now, because we have cleaned the beach, I see that they will not face another challenge. If we don't clean, then all the fish will see all these t tiny things, like such as bottles, plastic bottles, and think that they are squids, and so they will come and eat it. Basically, they will suffocate and die. I would urge all my youth, fellow youths to join this cleanup because the cleanups is is way beyond just the environment. It's it's about so much more. There is networking. Uh, places like this happen on a pattern. Different people when you on different things. The Malindi Municipal Board first priority kwanza ni kurudisha hali ya usafi Malindi irudi kama kawaida kwa sababu usafi ndio mambo yote. Usafi inaleta magonjwa mbalimbali na pia tuko hapa beach kueleza umuhimu ile rasilimali ambao tuko nayo hapa baharini na kuhakikisha kwamba tumi protect kukondosha zile chupa na mataka taka mingine na vyuma ambapo zile species zetu wakitumia vitu kama hivyo wao wanakufa Tusalia na masuala ya mazingira ambapo wadau wa mazingira sasa wanatumia sherehe za kitamaduni kupanda miti ya kiasili kama njia ya kufanikisha wito wa Rais William Ruto wa kupanda miti bilioni 15 huku kaunti ya Taita Taveta ikilenga kutoa chakula kwa wale watakaopanda miti Hezron Kimari na taarifa hiyo kutoka shamba la Osotua huko Kajado. Ya, katika ile miti tunapanda ingine tunaitumia katika matibabu ya, ya mifugo kama mbuzi na ngombe. Hata ingine ni katika matibabu ya, ya, ya zile E, maradhi ya na sugu yenye inasumbua wa Kenya kwa sababu wa mama ndio wanaathirika zaidi na ili janga tunataka kuzungukia vikundi mbalimbali vya wa mama tukiwapatia hii encouragement ya kujenga miti na tunataka kufanya kitu kama launching ili tuwalete pamoja on board waone umuhimu wa kupanda miti na ni kufuatilia ule mwito wa mtukufu rais alipio aliposema kila kila mmoja wetu tuwajibike na tuhakikishe kwamba tumepanda miti bilioni 15 na ili upanzi wa miti itasaidia sana kwa kubadilisha mambo ya anga na mtaona kutakuwa na mabadiliko kulingana na ile ukame ambayo imekuwa ikitupiga sana kama wa Kenya. Wadau hao wakiongozwa na baraza la wazee wa Kikuyu huko Kajiado walitoa wito kwa jamii zingine kuiga mfano wa kutumia sherehe za kitamaduni kupanda miti ya kiasili ili kukabiliana na tatizo la tabia nchi. Hii miti kwa kitamaduni ya Kikuyu iko na maana deep sana. Na hii miti hao wazee wa Kikuyu tukimaliza sherehe wataenda wapande kwa lingira ya mzee wa Bugu kwa goma pale. Hiyo miti upandwa na wazee tukiwa wengi katika sherehe fulani. Hiyo peke yake ni mtu inaitwa Mugumo. Nyenye kama wakiristo na sisi kama waislamu. Kurani natuambia miti na mnyenyekea Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hivyo tukipanda miti ujue tunafurahisha Mwenyezi Mungu ile miti ambayo tunapanda inamnyenyekea Mwenyezi Mungu na Mwenyezi Mungu anafurahia na mvua inanyesha hata kama unakata kuni tutafute educated way ya kupata hiyo mti uyati endele kukua and tuseme hatuna maji in fact tumesikia hapa tukisemekana sasa hivi tuna maji na mtusonge mbele shule ya MM Shah mjini Kisumu imeshirikiana na kampuni Standard Group kupitia mradi wa Newspaper in Education kusaidia kuimarisha mtaala wa CBC wa talanta miongoni mwa wanafunzi wa shule ya msingi na ile ya upili 
Mwalimu mkuu wa MMSHA Michael Oriedi amesema mpango wa NIE utawasaidia kuwajenga ukakamavu wanafunzi wake kwa imarisha mbinu za kujiwasilisha mbele ya halaiki ya watu kwa shinikiza kuwa na tabia ya kusoma baadhi ya mambo waliopelekea kuungana na mpango wa NIE. Zaidi mwalimu Orieda amesema kwa mpango huo utawafunua bongo zaidi wanafunzi wa klabu ya wanahabari shuleni humo ambao wananuia kuchukua nafasi za wanahabari katika safari yao ya masomo. We have plans to link up and partner with the, uh, the standard newspaper through the provision of uh, copies of newspapers to the school and particularly to this club, uh, so that uh, our learners, other than developing their academic prowess, they'll be able to read how news is uh, collected and how they, it is pre uh, presented. And uh, this will seek to endow them with the opportunity to develop their language and the reading culture uh, in the school and uh, beyond and this is going to be not only for the journalism club but even for the whole school i wanted to be a journalist but i did not make it but i i thank god that he gave me these children so that i can mentor them to be the best journalist in the world and also uh, as i'll be old when i'll see them on the television or in radio stations as i hear uh, some of my colleagues uh, my kiswahili members like hassan mwana wa ali uh, broadcasting news and uh, also uh, sports I feel happy when I see now I'm seeing John is there I'm seeing uh, also Faith Mulai is uh, anatangaza news I'll be very much happy from from the day that teacher asked us to join journalism club I read anything loudly and very good so Nilinuwa mkono, ili ni jaribu kwa, na, ili ni, ni kuwe na confidence. Nilikuwa na confidence kwa na yazafanya news vizuri. I joined the journalism club this year. And actually, my mother is really proud of me. She usually says that one day I will see you on the television. And, I, and I'll wish to just pinch the television so that I can greet you. really encouraged me to follow my dreams. As a wise, a wise man once told me, whatever you can believe, you can achieve. So my goal is one day to become to become a news reporter like Lulu Hassan. So, so I want to encourage all the people who are watching who believe that they can do something and they don't have faith, whatever you can believe, you can achieve. Is none other than KTN MM Shatim. Thank you. Have a good day. The Journalism Club, signing out from KTN News, Ketop Kipchumba. Adios. Nakwacha kwa nasaya kwamba, usiume mkono nakulisha. KTN MM Sha, Swadakta. Bila shaka mimi sina la kuongeza kutoka hapo ila tuangazie masuala mengine. Kenya imejiunga na mataifa mengine ulimwenguni kuadhimisha siku ya ugonjwa wa selimundu hii leo. Maadhimisho ya mwaka huu yanafanyika wakati kituo cha kuwashughulikia waathiriwa wa ugonjwa huo kujengwa katika hospitali ya Hamisi County ya Vihiga. Wazazi walio na watoto wanaogua selimundu wameridhishwa na ujenzi wa kituo hicho wakisema kwamba kitaleta fueni kubwa kwa waathiriwa pamoja na wazazi wao huku serikali za kaunti zikipewa changamoto ya kujenga vituo zaidi vya kuwashughulikia waathiriwa wa selimundu ili kutoa fueni. They, they are more consistent. You are more attention to psychiatry. Nimechukua kakati hapo lakini mta akisongeza mic na naenda. Kila wakati nilikuwa naenda kwa kwa sababu alikuwa saa nyingine anagonjeka na mrudisha Russia. Basi ikafika wakati hata niliuza vitu vitu vingi niluzaga ngombe na uza mbuzi. E, sasa wakati nilikuwa natoa toa mchanga nilikuwa tena nauza na lipa wakati anaenda kuengezewa damu kwa sababu nilikuwa saa zingine naweza maliza wiki mbili mtoto amegonjeka tena na mrudisho every point kila mtu anakuwa screened ajue hali yake kabla aoe in the next 10 years 
tutakuwa tumerudisha hii namba ya cases ya watoto wanazaliwa kama wako na sickle cell diseases uh, wenye wamefanyiwa test uh, ya sickle cell uh, katika kaunti ya Vihiga ni over 100 Yeah, so na pia tunatarajia pia wengine pia familia wengine pia wakifanyiwa test uh, pia pengine hiyo namba itaenda itaweza kuenda juu haswa haya magonjwa yasiyoweza kuambukizana yana ambatana utapata mgonjwa mmoja ako na pressure na ako na sukari mwingine ako na pressure peke yake mwingine ako na sukari peke yake lakini wanapoweza kuhudumiwa uh, in, in the journey of treatment unapata mbeleni huu uh, mgonjwa ataweza ku akiwa na sukari kuna uwezekano pia pressure itakuja ndani NHIF lazima ipate wagonjwa wako na sickle cell disease a package ambayo inahudumia in, in, maneno ya dawa laboratory test ili wagonjwa wakikuja wanatumia ile contribution vizuri kupata adequate care kusaidiana Unyoji wa pombe pamoja na matumizi ya mihadarati miongoni mwa wazazi umetajwa kuchangia ongezeko la visa vya watoto walio na msongo wa mawazo kulingana na katibu wa afya ya umma Mary Mudhoni kati ya watoto asilimia kumi hadi asilimia ishirini wanakabiliwa na matatizo ya akili hali hii imechangiwa sana na dhuluma za nyumbani ambazo zinapelekea wazazi kufariki au kulema na kuacha watoto na mzigo wa kujitafutia riziki in the same way blend in the fight against alcohol and drug abuse because some of our children here they are here as a result of what has happened to their parents at home and people who have been entrusted to take care of them they have rambushed because of drinking alcohol taking bath and other substances and as the principal secretary for public health and professional standards i want to reiterate that the government is very keen into the fight against drug abuse i encourage anti gabic healing center to not only focus on treatment but also to actively engage through health education programs and awareness campaign amongst the children that they receive today we recognize that mental health is important it is more important for children because we know according to research childhood um childhood trauma is actually it actually impacts children's lives more because the children are uh, when they start developing mental illnesses because of abuse because of neglect because of abandonment then when they grow older they have higher chances of becoming uh, either drunk or addicted or even just living a life of uh, that is not of quality Nadika jit, katika jitihada za kuirudisha fahari ya mji wa Thika iliyofifia baada ya kutambulika kuwa Birmingham ya Kenya mji wa Thika umeanza kupokea viwanda zaidi baada ya baadhi yao kufilisika na vingine kuhamia maeneo mengine kilomita tatu kutoka barabara kuu ya Thika kwenye barabara ya Thika ndio viwanda vingi vikubwa na vya ukubwa wakati vilikuwa vimeweka misingi kutokana na kuwepo kwa ardhi ya kutosha umeme na maji kulingana na Bimal Shah mmoja wa kurugenzi wa kampuni ya Alibizia ambaye ameuza ardhi hiyo kwa viwanda kati ya ekari 600 walizonunua tayari ekari 80 zimetengwa kwa ajili ya ujenzi wa viwanda akizungumza wakati wa ufunguzi wa bustani
ni mpya ya Grand Maria mjini Tika kaunti ya Kiambu Bimal ametoa wito kwa serikali ya kaunti ya Kiambu kuongeza kasi ya kuidhinisha ugawaji wa ardhi katika sehemu ndogo ndogo ambazo zitasaidia watu wanaotaka kuanzisha viwanda kupata ardhi kwa urahisi uh, commercial activity that they should have in mind a 300 million uh, people market of the East Africa community because we have a number in laws we as members of parliament have uh, put in place uh, under the custom union under the common market and these laws are enabling uh, uh, laws that have removed non tariff barriers that otherwise our businesses can take advantage of uh, to access the larger market a market that runs all the way from Mombasa to Congo Kinshasa Congo already we have ready tenants who are in the manufacturing industry we have millers we have uh, Uh, manufacturing macadamia sanfra and we have a distillery with us in uh, grad maria business park uh, it is a journey and it is a journey that is aimed towards also uh, making vika a city and we take the first step forward uh, to make that happen nani geoba serikali counterfeit issues iagaliwe sana na wasie sa Moses Kuria maana sababu watu wakileta vitu counterfeit na wewe uko na kiwada hapa na umeajiri watu uh, bili na unaleta counterfeit wewe unajisaidia na container mzima ukiwa peke yako hapa inasaidia wa, 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 watoto wetu brother zetu wa mama wetu nikiopa serikali sana vile ilisema jana itaagalia maneno ya counterfeit iendelee na hiyo mpango na hapo ndipo ninapofika tamati ya taarifa hizi za mbio ya KTN niseme kwa heri kwa sasa tuungane saa 12 magharibi kwenye jukwaa la KTN mimi ni Suleman Yeri